everybody. So this week we've talked about joy and um, one of the things I'm thankful for is that I am standing outside without a jacket or a sweatshirt or a coat on my, uh, you can see I have, I have arms. That's kind of nice. It's nice enough weather out right now to, to kind of sit outside and it's not beautiful out, not sunny and all that, but it's, it's nice. And so that's a good uh, place uh, to begin because, you know, joy comes from finding those places and those things where you can uh, really feel like you have got some uh, comfort in where you're at. Uh, I wrote the other day about making sure that we knew that um, about finding your place and about the fact that joy comes from finding your place and understanding your spot in the, uh, in the universe, in the grand scheme of things. It, it comes from understanding your place as the Imago Dei, and the Imago Dei means the image of God. It means that God created you uh, to be human and to, um, and to be connected with, with all things. And so that's really important. That's really, really important, especially for finding joy, because a lot of times we try to fill joy in our lives with things that are unimportant, uh, with, with, with other stuff going on. Um, you know, and, and joy comes from ourselves. It comes from understanding our connectedness and, and where we are and stuff. And part of joy comes from our ability to love. And so next week we'll be talking about love and about what love means and what it means to be a person of love and what, and what, and what, and how that kind of works out and stuff, especially, you know, in the awkward stages of how do you love people when you're quarantined from them and you're self-isolating. So anyway, that's where we're at today. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week and we'll see you then. I hope everybody is doing well. Peace and grace. God bless.